delighted to be on the Google Beach with Debbie Weinstein, who is the Director of Brand Innovation for Google. Now, you've just flown in this morning. What are your impressions so far? I'm delighted to see the sun, I must say. I left London in the pouring rain, so it's always a delight to come. And then to come to the YouTube Beach, where there's all VR all the time, amazing tribute to the ads and advertising that's a big part of the platform. So excited to be here. So what is happening around this beach then? So what are the different bits Well, there's that are going so on? many interesting bits. I actually just was on the Expeditions. I don't know if you've had a chance to do that. No. But uh, we introduced a new product last year that basically enabled teachers. We now have this capability in a million schools, or actually with a million students, um, around the world, actually allowing t uh, students to go on virtual reality experiences underwater, up to Yosemite, into the International Space wow. Station. It's incredible. And the way you can bring that immersive experience to students all around the world, incredible opportunities for VR. That is incredible. And what else is happening aside from the VR station? Well, I had a good smoothie as well. That was yummy. And we have lightning talks going on um, over on the left, which are basically quick hit talks about what's interesting going on in the world of YouTube. Oh, really? And actually, I just left a talk on 360 and um, how we're actually uh, innovating in the world of devices. And actually and helping that happen. And 360 selfies happening on the water as Apparently well, Apparently right? underwater selfies and all sorts of fun can be had on the beach. <laughs> and it's we're the right, place you've to got be. some YouTubers over there as well. Did we always that? have YouTubers coming through regularly. Every day there'll be a different set of YouTubers coming to That's share exciting. their stories. Yeah. Very exciting stuff. So obviously VR is a big focus point here. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about what you guys are doing with VR these days. Well, we're incredibly excited about VR. It really is the ultimate expression of telling immersive stories, and YouTube has been a platform for storytelling since it began 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think what's exciting about it now is it's starting to get the reach and the scale, um, as well as always delivering that impact that it's always been able to do. Um, when we think about what's powerful about VR, we really are focused on how we can create it as a de democratic experience. We want it to be in the hands of everyone. So you think about tools like Cardboard, which really are essentially freely distributed through things like the New York Times, Just readily available to everyone. Earlier today. Amazing. So we already have five million people that are using Cardboard, which is really a device accessible to anyone. For me, it's the ultimate expression of Google's mission, which is making information accessible to all, um, making it universally accessible and meaningful. I think so what you really need to get that working is have these devices available for everyone. Having devices where you can actually capture the footage as well is really important. Yeah. So we're talking over on the Lightning Talk Beach about Jump, which is a technology that enables uh, devices to actually capture 360 footage. So we've just launched a partnership with GoPro, the first of many, I'm sure. And then there's the creators, so the storytellers, like mm. the, the YouTube creators that'll be here talking about how it is that they're uh, making that platform work. And the platform, which is YouTube. YouTube is the number one home for video, uh, virtual reality, um, really anywhere on the on the web what would you say are the implications of having this free technology for brands how can they best use it so it's incredibly exciting when you think about how immersive experiences can meet brand advertising uh, it's always this this area of impact which is which is a huge opportunity and I think virtual reality brings kind of the opportunity if you look at some of the car advertising for example mm -hmm. there's some recent um, ads that have been done by BMW and Volvo where you're not only watching the car do its windy turn down the mountain but you're actually physically in that experience it's amazing <laughs> so I think when you couple that impact with the reach and scale that YouTube can deliver that's really where the magic starts to happen and what can brands learn from these YouTubers and influencers on how to use the, these platforms? Actually, I think that um, we're so at the beginning of what virtual reality enables for everyone in storytelling. Yeah. So whether it's a brand or it's our creators, and we're really committed to Everyone's helping to helping the creators figure it out. Yeah. So we have a lot of technology now in our YouTube studios around the world where creators can come in, learn, experiment, and figure out what's going to work for them. Obviously, this festival is all about creativity. Yeah, you guys might not have been so involved with Can in the past because it was more to do with the ad agencies and stuff. Mm. But obviously technology companies are coming more to the fore. Who do you think is responsible for creativity these days? Ooh. Well, I think creativity li really lives with everyone. Yeah. Um, and I think it really comes down to who's got great ideas and who understands how to connect the technical capabilities with consumers in a way that's meaningful for consumers. Obviously this is just the beginning of Can for you, know, for me. Amazing. What are you most <laughs> looking forward to this year? I always get so much stimulus being here that I take with me for the rest of the year. You know, whether it's sessions at the Palais where someone shares like a great nugget of how they've cracked a problem, or it's conversations, uh, you know, at the at the beach where someone shares, you know, their business challenge, and we're able to figure out how our companies can work together. So it's an exciting week always on the calendar. And this is my first ever can. My ah. first day, my first ever can. What are your tips for me? Sunscreen. I think I've already <laughs> messed that one up a little bit. But it's lovely talking to you, and have great. a great can. Oh, fantastic! Thank you.